So many of the near misses and close calls that occur are such basic things. Uh, making sure your equipment's ready at the beginning of shift or if you're a volunteer company uh, each week when you do equipment checks. Uh, making sure officers take responsibility to supervise their personnel. And that's a tough issue right there. Uh, so many of our officers are glad to become officers, become officers, but then when you got to get in somebody's face, it becomes a real tough issue. Well, that's something officers have to overcome because they're law enforcement officers. So their job is to make sure these near misses don't occur. Some simple things we can do, such as making sure the truck doesn't roll before we check the truck, do a walk around for safety, and make sure everybody's buckled up. Nobody's buckled up or somebody's not, the truck doesn't go. You, you tell a firefighter that they're going to a fire, but we can't go until you put, put your belt on, the belt goes on instantly because everybody wants to go to the fire. Um, other things we can do is make sure our masks are ready and wearing our masks. You know, years ago we didn't have much of a problem not wearing a mask unless it was really bad. Today we know firefighters are dying from cancer and suffering long-term effects not wearing masks. Again, it's the officer supervising. So probably the best way to avoid close calls, near hits, near misses is to have officers focus on their responsibility of supervising and their second responsibility of training. Every day a training day, every moment that you have that's free to train. Now, it doesn't mean you arrive on shift or it's a volunteer company, you come down for drill night and you do nothing but train. What I'm saying is that certainly you've got to have a regular drill schedule. However, every opportunity, most of us spend most of our time on EMS runs. When you're done with the EMS run, look at the building, pre-plan it, talk to the crews, discuss, all right, if we had a fire here, what would we do? That's real officer leadership, and that's how we're going to avoid the close calls.